Well, happening tonight, Broadway will be honoring Robin Williams by dimming marquee lights for one minute. That will happen at 7.45 tonight. The actor and comedian starred on Broadway several times during his career, most recently in 2011 in Bengal Tiger at the Baghdad Zoo. Williams frequently lived in San Francisco in between film and stage appearances. Brandon Lewis spoke with a local man today who once lived near Williams in California. And tonight he says the film star was a complex man known for his privacy and his kind heart. Long before Robin Williams moved into this Marin County, California home, he lived privately in San Francisco with his first wife, just down the street from Gary DeFore. We didn't know each other. Well, of course not. Very few people did, not even his wives, I don't think. Back then, Williams was known for stopping into local comedy clubs where he would steal the stage. Oh, God, the people loved it. The people loved it. And the more people he had to perform for, he just loved it. But underneath, DeFore says the truth often came through. And I went to rehab in wine country just to keep my options open. <laughs> He would joke about alcohol and drugs, and he would allude that he's on that. Williams eventually moved away, but DeFore was reunited with him in the late 90s when he was cast as an extra for the film Patch Adams. You could always depend on Robin getting there early. None of this, oh, I had problems with my zipper, I had problems with my hair. But he says the signs of depression were there. I could see dark clouds around that poor guy. He looked at me. And he looked right through me. He didn't even see me. It was like I was a spirit. And he couldn't see me. And we knew, you know, hey, hey, stay away. The two lost touch soon after, but DeFore continued following William's career all the way until the unfortunate end. Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News, North Rupert.